Coach Dresser, let's talk about your journey. You've had quite the journey. You started out, you were, uh, you're an NCAA champ for Iowa. Okay. Then you, uh, you started, you were a coach at Grundy, Virginia. Right. Okay. You guys were phenomenal. Top 10 uh, program when you left and you came up to Christiansburg, correct? Right. Then you started running the Christiansburg program. Then you got the tech job. Tell me how it all came about. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot, huh? That's a lot. Um, good thing I can talk. Let's see. Uh, well, I got, I was at, of course, uh, I got done in 86 at Iowa and stuck around for two more years and trained a little bit, coached a little bit, recruited a little bit, uh, probably wasted time a little bit. And I uh, got a good job offer in Grundy, Virginia, so I kind of took a leap of faith and moved out to a little bitty coal mine in town in southwest Virginia. Paid me way too much, and, but I was there for eight years. It was a great experience, probably one of the best things I ever did. How many titles did you guys win? Uh, they had the ball rolling at Grundy, so we won eight out of eight that I was there. But, you know, it, we, they had the ball rolling. They'd won a couple state titles before I got there, and so, you know, it, it wasn't all me. There was a lot of things going on there that, uh, you know, that I jumped in at a good time. But at the same time, they had really good people, really good wrestling fans. Wrestling was very important to that town. And then I thought I was ready to be done with wrestling. I actually moved back to Iowa for about six months. Worked in Des Moines, thought I wanted to sell stocks and insurance and everything, and uh, thought I was ready to get out of wrestling, and I wasn't. And uh, I told my wife that I want to go back and I want to start from scratch and see if I can coach. So I, I uh, took over Christiansburg, which at that time had literally single digits for kids out for wrestling at all levels. I mean, there probably wasn't 10 kids at any level out for wrestling, so um, that was a journey. I mean, that was a tough, that was the uh, first four or five years were tough. Now, you came back, your wife is a Virginia. She's from Blacksburg. She's from Black. so that was another part of the motivation to come back to Virginia yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, she, this was her, but you know, I, I had, when I was at Grundy, I, I, I didn't teach, so I had a lot of time, so I came out here to Blacksburg and uh, got a place and, you know, hung out here, and I was 25, 26 years old back in those days, so socialized and had a good time in Blacksburg. So I've been in this area 20 years now. Um, so when I went to, so it was, it was a natural to come back. Christiansburg and Blacksburg are, you know, six, seven miles apart. So it was a natural to come back here, so. But anyway, then we hired Daryl. It was a great move. We hired Daryl about, see, six years after I'd gotten here. And, uh, you know, we rock and rolled the last five years, had some top 10 teams. And uh, and then the Virginia Tech situation came open two and a half years ago, or, and uh, you know it was good timing for me. I thought I'd reached a lot of my goals as a high school coach, and you know I'm still as old as I am. I'm still all about goals, so I reached my goals, and now I got some major work to do here. Tell me about Hawkeye Hall. Hawkeye Hall. Well, how did uh, first off? I got a pretty good idea as to why it's Hawkeye yeah. Hall. Is it what I think? Why is that why it's Hawkeye yeah, well, Hall? When I moved here, and you know, we bought the facility, and I actually bought the facility, and then this is the, the Christiansburg call. wrestling room. Yeah. And Bingo Hall. That's uh -huh. for any of the people who don't know what Hawkeye Hall is. Hawkeye Hall is, yeah. Uh, why is it Hawkeye Hall? Well, I guess uh, I it wasn't what original. I think. I wasn't very original. Yeah, that's my background. You know, my background is a Hawkeye. So okay. We had to name it something, so I said, let's just call it Hawkeye Hall. And we actually called our wrestling club back then Hawkeye East Wrestling Club. So, um, but you know, it was a great thing. It was a great thing, and they've got the ball rolling over there strong. And we started Bingo as a fundraiser. People are going to laugh and think Bingo's crazy, but uh, Bingo makes uh, Christiansburg wrestling, you know, to the tune of well, I think they net over 130 to 140 thousand dollars a year. 100, 130 to 140 thousand yeah, dollars a year. Just for a wrestling program. And it's all volunteer work by all parents, volunteer work, and community and members. Bingo's big business in Virginia. So uh, two nights a week they run it. And we started doing it in '99. And you know, I did it back then just because we had to compete. In order for us to be a national level program, we had to have some money to go to these big tournaments. And you know, you can't ask kids coming out for wrestling, especially brand new kids when you're trying to get the ball rolling and kind of sell a community on wrestling. You can't ask mom and dads for money. Uh, we're gonna, you know, I need 100 bucks to go to the BCs. I need 100 bucks to go to the Ironman. That ain't gonna work. So we had to come up with a cash way to do that. So the neat thing is, is you know, the kids in the team at Christiansburg, they go to all these, you know, Fargo, all these big tournaments, and. Uh, it's, it's kind of on the house, if you know what I mean. Okay. And uh, that was the motivation for Hawkeye Hall. And it's just, it's it's been a huge success every you year. Know, it was a huge success from day one. I mean, we made, in 1999, we made like 130 grand at the end of the first year. Wow. And that all goes back into wrestling. All goes back into wrestling. Helps pay the, some of the salaries for the coaches, the facility, the training. Actually pays their mortgage payment now. You have your own charter bus? Uh, they do now. They didn't when I was there. Okay. We, we, we chartered them individually, but they do now. Last question, I'm going to let you off the hook. You can go enjoy your, okay. your tailgate. Do you miss Iowa and are you going back? Uh, you know what, I've been here for so long now. I'm a, I'm a Virginia guy. Um, sure you miss, you know, home's home. 
but I've lived I lived in Iowa 25 years and now I'm showing my age here I've lived here 20 years so uh, I don't miss those winners I mean Iowa's a great state the wrestling they got it going on there I, I uh, appreciate and uh, respect what's going on there I mean that's the that's the measuring stick anybody in the college wrestling business if they don't admit that, that I was the measuring stick right now they're living in a dream world you know that's who we got to be that's who everybody's got to be that's what gets you up in the morning you got anything else for me coach that's it love it man thanks